And then we had a campfire and say the campfire song off with SpongeBob. Wow. This is your dream? Yes. Well, I it's not a scary story. Scary story. I have a scary story for oh, Halloween. Your mm -hmm. video in. Yeah, so. Everybody exploded. Okay, I got a scary story. You do? Turn the camera. You can't see anything, it's black. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. You gotta go sit on the swing. I do not. Is this a scary story you can tell us? Scary what? When I was in sixth grade, we lived in Olathe, Kansas. Me and my daddy worked nights with the Kansas City Star. Me and my mama would leave Jimmy, Wayne, Teresa, Donna, and Cynthia at home. And me and her would go over to my aunt. Stay all night long. Talking till we had to go pick my dad up at like about 4 o'clock in the morning. And my uncle had lots of aquariums and my mother and aunt would be in the kitchen talking, doing their thing. And I would uh, watch the fish in the aquariums. Well, one night, <coughs> we were there, and it was pretty late, very late. And we heard on the house. In this house, it was like, a, there was four houses all together. One upstairs, and my aunt lived downstairs. And then there's one, there's a hall, and then there's another one there, and another one up top. Well, <coughs> we heard this banging on the house, and it was loud, just boom, boom, boom. We didn't know what to think. And so my aunt and my aunt Joanna and my mother, they got to them. Was like, what was that? And they didn't, they tried to, it scared them pretty bad. Because if somebody came up and hit this house, what would you think? I'd go, I'd go I would scream and, and run. Well, we didn't have guns. I'd go get a gun. I'd go. I would scream and run because that's the only thing I know to well, do. It scared them really bad. But it kept, little things like that kept happening. And there was this car in the back. It was in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. It was an old, it was a van, but it didn't have any windows. Weird. And that was weird. And, uh, well, this kind of stuff kept going on. Mm -hmm. Did you ever call the cops? They didn't no. have cops back well, then. Well, we did, but not <laughs> on this night. Because we went, all right, and then it, it just stopped or whatever. They weren't telling me anything, really, you know. I'd to scare you? Up. They didn't want to scare you? Right. And so my mother and me went back over there the next night. And this is at your aunt's house? Yeah, this is at Joanne's. And you heard it again? Yeah, there was something going on, and we heard a loud noise. Loud. And when they finally got the nerve up to go in the direction of where the noise came in the house, it was at her window. <gasps> and the window was about halfway pulled out of the house. Off of, just out. Oh my goodness. I know. It was very scary, so my aunt called the police. The police came, and he was staying there. So I don't know, there, was, there had been many things going on that I don't know. And on this night, the police was called, and he came, and he was staying there for a long time, and he was watching that van that was parked in the parking lot. It wasn't too far from the house. Maybe they were Yeah, well, they were suspecting something about this van. But it was where the police was staying in the house. They were in the kitchen. And, uh... Like off of I Because like. there had been not just that one boom on the house. There had been several other things. Loud things. Annoying. And hitting on the house and stuff. And 
uh, well, they're in the kitchen talking, and he was really kept peeking out, you know, to look at this van. Well, I was in the living room, and the bubbling noise was going from the aquarium that day, and my aunt and my mom and the policeman, his name was Winston, the policeman's name. And that was real funny, because his name was Winston, and that's the name of a cigarette, and he smoked Salem cigarettes. Mm. So that was funny. They made a joke about that. So they're in there, and they're being real quiet. And I heard this noise, like a car rolling on the gravel, because it was a big gravel parking lot, and the gravel went right by their house to go out. And I heard the rolling such and I heard it, but I didn't think that I needed to go tell them about it. You it yeah, that morning. <laughs> what was that? Dang. <laughs> no, sir, who's behind me? Nobody. 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 I heard Carol behind me. Oh, it was us. Yeah, no, it was coming from it. behind me. We were doing this. It was coming from behind me. <laughs> Did you? Is Daddy over there? No, nobody's over there. Yeah. No, nobody. I got super fast over there when no one could see me. And I, was I think you're in on something. You knew the story. It, it made them come out. What? Yeah, screaming. actually, you screamed so it loud. It scared everybody. It scared the crap out of that. me. <laughs> She's probably like, it was Ashley. We're telling ghost stories. <laughs> okay, we can finish this story. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do this. Nope, there's no one back there. Be quiet. This is the noise I heard. Like, like whenever the car comes down. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, a little bit later, that policeman, he looked out in the door, and that car was gone. And he was like real upset about it. And I don't know, but he said, I think whatever was going on, there's nothing happened after he came. After that place was there, no noises or anything. And uh, uh, I, and then I told him, he, when I heard him say that car's gone, I said, we, I told him, I said, I heard a car rolling. But it didn't have, there was no engine, but I heard it rolling. I'll never forget that. We were so scared before that place came. We were very scared. Somebody was stalking. Mm.